Is I, Hachino, based on a real life person? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. For those who don't know, my name's Tifa and I'm pretty obsessed with Oshinoko. I love the manga and I was really excited for the anime to come out as well. When reading the manga, I felt like a lot of different storylines were taken from real life. And that includes the idol, I, Hoshino. Now, if you want to see what other characters and what other storylines are based on real life events, then don't forget to subscribe because I'll be doing a little series on these different real life things that are in Oshinoko. So the beloved idol Ai Hoshino is what Oshinoko is somewhat based on or based around. She was a 16 year old who gave birth to twins and kept a secret because she's an idol and then she kind of grew up, the twins grew up alongside her until she hit the age of 20. Now, 20 is kind of a special age in Japan. It's when you become a legal adult. In America, it's 21. In other countries, it's 18. There's different ages, but in Japan, it's 20. That's when you're legally allowed to drink. And most people think it's basically when you're legally an adult because you're no longer a teen. You're not 19, you're 20. And at 20 years old, I Hoshino unfortunately dies. She is stabbed by a stalker who appears at her front door and when you kind of think about this you think about Japanese idols and the entire kind of world they're surrounded in and how a lot of fans think that they need to be pure and if they're not then there can be consequences for that and it really shouldn't be that way but it kind of is. We see this with Ai Hoshino in Oshinoko, but this also happened in real life, this exact same event. Mayu Tomita is a Japanese idol who also went through very, very similar experiences to Ai. She was 20 years old when a stalker showed up at her apartment and stabbed her about 64 times leaving her in critical condition. This was also on the day that she had an important performance. She was supposed to perform that day and was stabbed by a stalker in her own home. Does that sound familiar to you guys? Yeah, I Hoshino kind of lives the same fate. And although I dies, my Tomita actually did live through this event and has actively criticized the way that police went about this. You see, she kind of knew that this stalker existed. She felt like this stalker could do something. And you know, idols, whether they're small idols or big idols, have these sorts of experiences. And she did go to police and say that someone is stalking her, someone is sending odd messages online and doing all these kinds of things and the police did not help her or provide her with any information on how she could protect herself. Akasaka has taken this real life event and changed it in a way within his own work showcasing that this could have been a horrible incident where she could have died much like Ai Hoshino did die within this series. This is something that Mayu Tomita has also talked about, stating that she could have died because police didn't help her to do anything more than that, you know? The whole point of Oshino Ko is to look at the entertainment industry within Japan and the darkness that surrounds it. There are many stories that showcase this and Ai Hoshino is, is the first of many. Ai Hoshino's storyline is said to be based off of this idol who experienced this. The attacker was also 27 years old, about the same age range as the written attacker in Oshinoko. I've seen a few Reddit threads that also see similarities with the American pop star Christina Grimmie, who died at age 21 due to a stalker at a concert. 
this was an incredibly unfortunate incident that many, many talked about and many were affected by as well. Not only Christina Grimming herself who did die, but others that were at the concert as well. However, my automata story is more similar, almost exactly the same, as this written story that Akazaka has done for Oshinoko with Ai Hoshido. Even though this has happened more than once, this is the main story I would say that I is based off of. I do wonder what Mayu Tomita actually thinks of this, if she has read the story or seen the anime, especially since it was all over Japan, if she sees the similarities herself. And I wonder if that could be potentially confronting as well, but I think Akazaka has done a great job in using that story to talk about the entertainment industry. So that is the true life event that I Hoshino story mimics. It's kind of crazy when you watch something like this in anime and then you see that that actually happened in real life. And I think that's the point. As I said before, there are a fair few stories in Oshinoko based off of real life events and I kind of want to explore all of that because not many people I know have watched Oshinoko or know about these events so I want to kind of create a discussion about it and about the entertainment industry because that's what the story is meant to do. Let me know down below if you see similarities between the two stories or if there are any other stories that you think are quite similar to the stories in Oshinoko. I guarantee that there is at least one event or one story that most of us have heard of that is shown within the series. When I started reading the manga, I wasn't sure if anybody else had picked up or thought about these sorts of things or realized that some of these storylines are just eerily similar to real life events. So let me know down below. And if you guys like videos like this, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I will be doing a couple more videos about the real life events that are shown in Oshinoko. So don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.